Okay, and I am back with another video. Um, if you are new to my channel, click that subscribe button, turn those post notifications on, and join the fall team because me and my babies will end us on period. Okay, and if you are not new, welcome back. Um, today in this video, as you guys can see below, I'm giving you guys an Amazon 30 inch wig hair review. This is actually gonna be my birthday wig, so it better give what it's supposed to give, honey. Anyways. I read the reviews. I had some good reviews, some pretty good reviews. I watched the videos that they had up on there. So I was like, you know what? This, this is it. This, this is definitely the one. Um, it was, I can't remember the price exactly. I bought a 30 inch wig and then a 30 inch bundle just in case I need to add an extra bundle in there because I think in one of the reviews, someone said they did that. So I was like, you know, let me just be on the safe side. So the 30 inch wig and 30 inch bundle all together, I believe I paid about 270 and for a 30 inch wig, y'all, that's good so that's why i was a little skeptical i'm like i'm hoping and praying it, it's um it's a good wig because it's my birthday hair so mm, yeah so i'm gonna show y'all the um 30 inch bundle i bought first and then i'm gonna show you guys the wig so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into it and what i'm gonna actually do with this wig and this bundle i'm going to dye it jet black i'm gonna establish my part and do all that so this is the bag that the 30 inch bundle came in oh wait for um shipping they both came in at the same time shipping was i did not order off of my amazon prime account um why did i not do that i don't know so it was about a week it took about a week to come in so um but if you have amazon prime you know that's that's gonna come heck of quick so it is what it is so let me show you the 30 inch bundle i'm scared okay you only live once so this is 30 <laughs> and yeah that's my dog jordan so let's see what this bundle is giving honey y'all know these they love to put in these hair nets let's see Ooh. okay that took me forever oh okay so this is the extra bundle that i ordered 30 inches let's see i don't know this look like 30 inches that don't look like 30 inches to me what y'all think maybe because it's body wave so i gotta you know do what i do first because i am going to straighten it like for my little birthday look i am going to straighten it um but this is the wig it's real soft let's see okay i mean not the wig this is the bundle i love the way weave smells y'all so weird but this is it and y'all can see it's kind of like a natural brown i really want it to be jet black though so that's the bundle now for the most exciting part the most exciting part um is is it's the wig it's it's the wig it came in a purple bag cute cute purple and pink real girly i love it let's see Woo. okay Woo. okay here we go here we go I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling it out. I'm taking off the net. I'm taking off the net. Ah, I'm scared. What y'all think? <laughs> um, it don't look like 30 inches to me either. Maybe if, oh, let me stop. I don't know. It's it's very soft. This is 150% density, I believe. It's soft. I like it, you know. Oh. It's a four by four closure. Y'all know I love the closures. Okay. What the baby hairs? Okay, with the baby hairs. But y'all, y'all know I don't know how to do baby hairs. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Go watch me some videos. But this is the wig. Let me show y'all the inside. Let me see the inside first. Okay. Four by four closure, three clips, adjustable band. I have a very like small head, so majority of these wigs fit me. Um smells pretty good. This is this is it. Okay. It's it feel it feel really thick, so I think I might not need to add the bundle, but I'm gonna see how I do when I straighten it. But 
we gonna see this is this is it what y'all how y'all feeling it better come out good when i dye it so it better take hair good i mean hair color good that's all i know this ah it don't look like 30 inches because this was curly this is like 28 inches or 26 i don't know um you know i i like it i like it let me look in here on this scalp yeah okay this is the wig so we're gonna go ahead and start playing in it and get it to where it needs to be we're gonna start off i'm actually going to bleach the knots first it's a closure wig so it don't take that long um i'm not gonna do it on camera if you don't know how to bleach knots i do have a video on how to bleach knots and i will put it in the description box so that you guys can know how to do it it's really really easy i'm gonna bleach the knots and then i'm going to watercolor it jet black um i might do that on camera i don't know yet if not i have a video on how to watercolor hair and that will be in the description box below as well but we're gonna go ahead and bleach the knots and then get to dye it jet black with when it comes to hair at all anywhere i order it from i wash my bundles first mandatory to wash your bundles and then install it that's just my preference that's what i like to do um i recommend it to everyone but you know it's each his own right so i'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots um watercolor it and then i'm gonna come back on camera and show y'all what it looks like this this is the they, mm, this kind of look like two different colors don't they this look darker this look lighter they're gonna be jet black when i'm finished with them but if i need to add this if i don't need to add this yeah you know i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait on this i'm gonna wait on this just in case i'm gonna wait first i'm gonna just do the wig and then we're gonna we're gonna see what she do so let me go ahead and do what i do and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show y'all um when it's dyed and the knots is bleached okay ttyo Okay, so the wig is washed. I bleached the knots. Um, let's see if you guys can see. Looking good, looking good. Um, I didn't really establish my part officially, but I am gonna go ahead and pluck the front a little bit. It does come pre-plucked, but not um, plucked enough for moi. So I'm going to give it her a little pluck. The baby hairs that they give, I'm gonna leave those out. Even though I don't know how to do them, but I'm gonna try. So I do, when I pluck, I prefer to pluck the hair when it's wet. It's just easier to me. So this is what it's, I said. I left it, the baby hair's out and um, that's my middle part. So you know, I gotta do a middle part, long hair, but I'm gonna fix it up later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pluck. And then once that, I might blow dry it just so that it can dry quicker. And then we can go ahead and start the um, watercolor method. And I probably am thinking about adding um, that extra bundle in just to give it a little bit more thickness. But let me go ahead and start plucking. And then we'll move on. Act like I'm a teacher or something. I'm gonna be a teacher so bad, I'm weak. And look at my new tweezers I just bought today. So pretty. Have hearts. So I'm just gonna pluck and pluck and pluck. And when you just pluck, you just go, go, go crazy. Just go crazy. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so <clears throat> I plucked one side, which was this side. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. Non-plucked and plucked. I didn't pluck it too much because um, I didn't want to like bald it. But while you're plucking, always comb through it in the middle of plucking. And this is how much hair I had plucked from the that part of the closure. I know, right? Such a lot. <clears throat> but um, yeah, so I'm just going to do what I did to this side, do to the other side. And I'm going to give it a little blow dry. And then um, I, I think I am going to add part of this bundle into it. This is what it looks like. You will see. Ooh. Ooh. So this is what the wig looks like. Um, I think I could definitely use a little bit more 
um, hair. So I am going to add that extra bundle and then I'm going to show you guys the difference with the extra bundle bundle added and then I'm going to watercolor it, style it and boom, we'll be done. So let me pluck the other side, blow dry a little bit and start adding this bundle in. I hate sewing, but we don't, we gotta get her done. We gonna get her done. So. Hey you guys, I'm back with the wig. As y'all can see, on the previous clip, I did a little pluck and wash in. I did add the extra bundle because it was it was not thick at all. It wasn't giving like thick and I, I was messing with it. So I did go ahead and dye the bundle. Um, I did the watercolor method and then added it in because it, like for some reason it didn't match and I didn't even add color to the um, actual wig at all. I just left it, let it be. But the color came out cute. I just ended up um, adding in the extra, the, uh, added in the extra tracks and added the whole bundle so this is what it looks like let's see and of course i added some wand curls to it because um yeah, let me show y'all oh yeah i got pants on but this is where completely where it kind of goes you know it's supposed to be 30 inches so let me see you yeah, can see from the back yeah see that Ooh. so that's where it ends like um, when I'm turned around, but all together, let me tell you about this hair. I got it from Amazon, 30 inches. It was like 200 and something. All together, it was like 280. That's including the extra bundle that I did buy. Um, I bought the bundle from a different company on Amazon. I'll definitely put that in the link below as well. But for the wig, for the wig, for the wig. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it a strong seven out of 10. You know what? I'm gonna give it a strong 7.5 out of 10 because the hair, um, when I washed it, there was like no shedding. It did not shed at all. So I did like that. It was, I didn't like that it was thin, a little bit thin. Um, so that's why I had to get the extra bundle just in case. The ends are horrible. I hate the ends. I'm gonna have to end up cutting them. I don't know if y'all can see. But like they're just horrible like i'm not messing with the ends so i'm probably going to end up cutting them like an inch or two off and it's not even gonna be 30 inches no more so i'm gonna have to cut it off and it's not really like smooth or silky as i expected it to be um like you know when you first get hair you expect it to be all like smooth silky shiny you know all that and I just felt like after I washed it, it wasn't even all that, like, I don't know, I wasn't really like, I wasn't that much impressed by it, which is very disappointing because if I'm spending 200, if I'm spending money on anything, I don't want to be disappointed by it. And I was definitely, that's why I give it a strong 7.5 out of 10. After you curl it, I mean, I didn't like it straight at all. So I probably will never wear this wig straight because I'm going to wear it to get all my $200 worth, period. But I will never wear it straight. I will definitely always keep wand curling it and make it this wavy look. This look is really cute. Add some bio silk and some shine spray to it to give it that kind of like fresh look because like I said, like it just wasn't what I thought it would be. Like it's crazy because the reviews were really good and I was like, okay. And even in the review, it did say a girl had bought an extra bundle. So that's why I had went and bought the extra bundle just to be on the safe side. But it didn't end up being what I wanted it to be. I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, 30 inches for 200 and some odd dollars, you know, you never, you don't really see that, you know, so I guess you really get what you pay for. So if you want like inches, inches, good, good inches, you're going to have to spend that bread. Just simple. I feel like there are good hair products and hair companies on Amazon. I just haven't ran into it. This is actually my first time buying, um, hair off of Amazon. I probably will do it again, but I don't know if I'll do it just so soon yet just because of how this hair came out. I'm not saying like, I really, I do like it. Like once it's curled and done and on my head, I do like it. Um, I did, oh, I did add an um, elastic band on here. They It does come with clips and like a, those little um, band things, but it was still loose on my head and I don't really like mess with glue because it breaks me out. So I can either add the wig tape. Um, if you guys ever had that, I do add the wig tape or I um, add an elastic band so that it can just fit and I can just slip it on and off because I really don't like sleeping with wigs on. Like it's a closure wig, I don't wanna sleep with it on. So 
I ended up adding an elastic band on it just to make it tighter because I didn't want to fall off because like I said, this was my birthday hair. You can go check out my birthday pics on IG. You know, I'm actually put them on the screen to show y'all because it looked really good and I looked really good. So all I can say is like for my birthday hair, I was, it looked really good on my birthday. So I can't really say I was disappointed. Like it looked really good. I got so many compliments. A lot of people have asked me where this hair is from. Like, it looks really good. Like, when I post my pictures, when I'm in, like, person, you know, I do take my time by curling it, styling, adding the right products. Don't add too much products because you want to look at, like, greasy and oily because that's not cute. So, BioSilk, you need a little bit of BioSilk. And I got the shine spray that I use. Um, I don't know the brands. And, of course, I always added a heat protective spray in as well. But I probably won't keep this wig long, honestly. But I'm going to wear it so I can't wear it no more. I don't care. I'll wear it till my tracks fall out because I paid $200 for it. And if I pay money for something, I'm going to make sure I get all my work out of it. I don't care. So yeah, you might see me pop up in this wig and some of my new, some of my um next upcoming videos. Who cares? I bought it $200. But let me say, all together, like I did give it a, a strong 7.5 out of 10. I do like the wig. Um, I wasn't all that impressed. I feel like it could have been a little bit better, a little bit silkier, you know, a little bit more smoother. The ends were just so horrible. Um, no shedding, really. So that's what I like. The shedding was like to a minimal. So I like the no shedding. Um, and then it takes like, I think it takes curls well. I do um, do wand curls on 400. And then I do some hairspray. And then I get my bio stick in my hands and then just like run my hands through it. I don't have it on my hands. But I just run my hands through it. And then it gives it this cute little wavy look, which is I'm really... This is the look for me. Like, I'm really feeling this look. Yeah. I am feeling this. But, you know, I I would recommend this hair if you're trying to get um, 30 inches, but you're not trying to spend too much bread and you don't really plan on, like, reusing the hair a lot. I would definitely recommend this. I mean, if you're on a little vacation, you're like, you know, you don't really wear wigs or you don't really wear bundles or anything like that. Um, this is definitely what I would recommend. If you like to reuse your hair, like for sew-ins and stuff, well, you can't do that sew-in. But if you like to redo your hair, rewear your wigs like I do to get your money's worth, I would still say you can get it. This is, can be like an every now and then wig, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I would still recommend it. This is just my opinion on it. I could've got a bad batch of a, a, a wig, you never know. But I always say when you buy anything, read reviews, all the time watch youtube videos anything that you can do before you buy it make sure you just like research on that product and no matter if it's hair shampoo conditioner nails anything just make sure you just do your research all together you know i do like i said i do recommend this hair if you're just trying to if you just don't really wear wigs and you're just trying to wear a wig really quick or long quick wig for like a i'll say for a few weeks i can recommend this for like three weeks two to three weeks I can recommend it if you do wear wigs like and you and you want to reuse it like me like i said once again you can still buy it this can just be like the every now and then wig that you just throw on you can make it real look really good if you like thick hair like me definitely get an extra bundle to add into it because it's not as thick as i had wanted it to be i like thick hair so with the bundle i think it did what it had to do and i think it looks good all together i think i look good with it i think it looks amazing um i'm gonna wear it so i can't wear it tomorrow but i am going to cut the ends because the ends are not giving and i'm not about to walk around no bunchy ends because that's like it doesn't give but whatever but that was my that's really my opinion on the hair i wouldn't say like it was a too bad of hair that's just my opinion so if you buy it you buy it if you don't you don't you know this video is here to help you and make your decision of course you can watch other videos of course you can read the reviews on directly on amazon if it is still on amazon i'm gonna put the link below last time i had checked it wasn't there so i'm gonna definitely um check it out for you guys if it's there it's gonna be in the description box and where i bought the extra bundle will also be down below as well but this was just a quick little simple video for you guys just so you guys could see um what i thought about this hair and you know you guys can check it out for yourself so yeah if you if you messing with it get it if you're not then don't you know you know it's nothing to it but 
if you did make it to the end of this video you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button turn on those post notifications on and join the follow team because me and my babies be going up and we lit and that's on period okay and don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss time watch out for the flawless video and um yeah i'm out and i'll see y'all in my next video